next stop is Art Gallery. Exit on the left in the direction of travel. For your safety. We came to Adelaide Botanical Garden and this is the tram stop and we'll have a short visit to Botanical Garden. We love Botanical Gardens and so I hope you will enjoy this. This is very close to CBD and there are a lot of universities. University of South Australia, Adelaide University on both sides of the road while we're coming to this botanical garden. It was just a couple of stops basically. A lot of Santas all over the city. It's another one. We saw a big one in Adelaide Central Market and this is another one. We are now approaching to the entrance of Botanical Garden in Adelaide and the door is really nice. We need to do some study of the map and uh, look at the Adelaide Botanical Gardens map and it, there are a lot of water bodies and architecture. We are here at the moment. We'll just roam around uh, without any plant and we'll just capture as much as possible in maybe one and a half hour. We love visiting botanical gardens and especially in Australian cities, the botanical gardens are very historic. Uh, it's over 200 years history and uh, it's a very well preserved uh, subject in Australia, particularly all the botanical gardens in Sydney, in Melbourne, in Hobart, uh, they are very well preserved. A lot of collections of uh, worldwide plantations and vegetations, variety of plants, and not just um, Australian native plants. So it's always a beautiful spot to visit in any city. And we love visiting botanical gardens. Hope uh, today's tour will be a very nice one, very relaxing botanical garden tour in Adelaide. Yeah. I think there was some cartoon party going on and uh, a lot of people were dressed up like cartoon figures, cartoon characters. Looks like Adelaide Botanical Garden is a very popular destination for wedding and wedding planning and there are a lot of weddings going on at the moment. Uh, in front of us there is a glass house. It's probably a very popular wedding venue. You see a lot of brides and grooms are standing up, dressed up, ready to be getting wed, I think. Yeah, we're right. Uh, this is the wedding of Thomas and Alexander today. It must be very warm inside. It's a glass house. A lot of children from schools, local schools are here today. It's Saturday and they are visiting Botanical Garden. It's a beautiful architecture. Really nice, very symmetrical. Look at this aloe vera. Let's go other side of this glass house. As I was saying that uh, in Australia all the botanical gardens are so well preserved, beautifully decorated, maintained. I mean, they, this is a natural environment, but it's very artistic. That's what I love here very much. Look at these plants. Yeah, the structures look very alien. The combinations are so nice. The variations and uh, the way they are placed. Look at this both side. Looks stunning. It's almost like an art installation. Beautifully preserved orchid gardens. We have a beautiful walkway. Oh, this another wedding venue. Look at this. The whole walkway is 
full of flowers and it looks beautiful. It looks like a wedding of Matthew and Brittany. Adelaide Botanical Garden is pretty much a place for getting married. I want to show you the cabbages. Look at these cabbages. This is huge cabbages. It's a native Australian banana trees. It's another canopy or pagola and covered with beautiful leaves. It's very peaceful, very tranquil place. It's in the middle of the city, but it's very quiet and you can you can hear all these bards singing. A lot of people are doing picnics. Yeah, it's beautiful. This walkway has a feel of a rainforest. It's very quiet and very cool as well. Although it's today, it's around 25, 26 degrees centigrade, but here it could be around 20 or even less. More weddings happening. So this is a really a wedding venue. So there is a pond nearby and uh, there will be some water lilies, Amazon water lilies. Hopefully it will be pretty spectacular. This is the entrance to the Amazon water lily pavilion. Look at these water lilies. Water lilies are just stunning. They're so big. These Amazon water lilies. But I want to bring your attention to the, these red flowers on the other side. These are really, really attractive looking red flowers. This was the pavilion for the Amazon water lilies and it was just a beautiful spot. Just outside this Amazon water lily, there is a water body, a pond. It's well preserved, very nicely decorated, both sides of this pond and looks beautiful. Today is a very sunny day and it's not too warm and a lot of duck and ducklings are swimming on the warm weather. A lot of Santas all over the city. It's another one. Drinking water in this hot condition is very important. So South Australian water uh, supply is providing these machines. Uh, press air and you get this water field here. There is an ibis roaming around trying to eat something. Look at this Mexican plant in my background. It's changing its skin and this red color skin is getting off and then there will be new skin growing, I guess. It's stunning to look at this peeled skin. They're getting peeled due to probably it's summer is coming. The whole surface is changing and the color is just almost like mahogany. Beautiful. Look at this young banana plant. Look at these birds. They are almost talking to us. So I wanted to show you this particular device. This is a weather station, solar powered, but it also collects pores and insects trying to capture anything airborne and then they use it to barcode all these pores or 
these insects and then that helps the scientists to collect data and understand the, the biodiversity and uh, changing in weather conditions and environment and if there is any particular fungal infection that might happen and kill any plants during the weather change like uh, mottle rust and so this is a very unique system solar powered and they call it sentinel it's surveillance for agriculture so it's mapping the pests and uh, trying to help the decision makers to pest control In the Adelaide Botanical Garden, there is an evergreen restaurant and it's beautiful sitting areas in the middle of the Botanical Garden and then there are live music and we just order an ice latte and it's, it's not very hot but it's warm and very sunny and breezy so we wanted to have a seat and relax for a while. Look at the ceiling fan, the size of the ceiling fan, it, it gets very warm. Look at the bamboo trees. It's a unique feature almost in every botanical garden in Australia. It was a nice little couple of hours of walk and uh, we captured as we can. Obviously, um, botanical garden in Sydney and uh, Brisbane and even in Hobart we have much better plant collections, I, I suppose, in Adelaide. It was a beautiful, nice walk. Hope you enjoyed this new video at Adelaide Botanical Garden. Goodbye until the next video. So the Adelaide Botanical Garden is a very popular destination for wedding planners and wedding arrangements and weddings and uh, this is a very typical part of the local weddings that uh, you have to travel on a limousines and get married. So one of these dream limousines are parked outside this Adelaide Botanical Garden and this is part of this package as well I guess. <laughs>